With Station Mobile currently down, this hands so much more credence to text proposal 11645 and following it for exactly what it is. Now, everybody's going to sit there and you're going to be wondering, well, when's mobile going to come back online? Because Terror Rebels, which is Hexagon, have sunset those endpoints that they shouldn't have sunset until TFL picked up the baton, so to speak. We have to wait for TFL. 100% right now. Everything is now, we have to wait for TFL. The reason being is because our repository, everything like that is, it, it's over there. They have control of it. They're the ones who say and do everything, right? Because our L1 team do not have access to those systems. They can only propose an update. They can only propose endpoints. Ultimately, TFL still needs to do something. The only way around this is to have our own infrastructure as to which it would be our own repository and so to speak, our own endpoints. Currently, we pay for endpoint infrastructure, which isn't Terra Classic infrastructure, it's just being called that. It's Terra Rebels Hexagon infrastructure. We're paying for that, right? Yeah, mobile stations down. And this is a simple answer to this. 95% of the community simply do not trust Terra Rebels. There are some people that still trust them and still swear by them and will stick by them no matter what, and I respect people like that, and I respect you for standing by what you believe. Now, ultimately, we do have a huge issue, and this is one of those situations where I just stepped back. There was nothing I can do other than let things play out. Them doing this is like the biggest spiteful move, but ultimately, right, it, it hands so much more credence, like I was saying, to getting our own infrastructure and our own endpoint infrastructure. Now, a lot of people would sit there and say, well, Jay, in the worst case scenario, how would this pan out for the endpoints? Well, let's say in the worst case scenario, right, we match the infrastructure costs that they're providing. Our infrastructure would still be better because we would own it as a community. We would not need TFL for updates. We would not need to worry about our endpoints going down all the time and worrying about mobile, not being able to update mobile, not being able to update station, have our own builds. All of that would change. Everything would change. All we need to do is stop paying for like another group's future because all we're doing is funding Hexagon at this point and funding their future. And as much as people want to sit there and think, you know, Things are going good. They are going good, right? But we can't ignore what is currently happening. If we zoom out and we look at the charting system, you know, we're really down there and it's it's come to a situation where if you want to reach quorum, you need to get three of the top five validators to vote, period. 50% of the validators base, they just don't vote and everything has come down to a a real weird situation where the big players are just draining what they can out of this as they watch it slowly go down here. And for those who are wondering, right, even now, <laughs> at the level of voting power, <clears throat> anybody who's at my stage below me and one stage above me, you know, you're barely breaking even on your infrastructure cost. It's it's insane that we're at this point now. And I think, you know, I don't know what it's going to take to change it, but I know that having our own infrastructure and starting to make these real simple changes where we can see true reflection in the community and having a system that doesn't go down all the time, having a swapping system, you know, everybody wants an on and off ramp, right? But imagine trying to get all of that done and then asking TFL every time, oh, can you update this? Oh, can you merge this? Can you, we've put five pull requests in. For example, people like Trust Wallet actually charge five BNB per pull request. So if a company like Trust Wallet charge five BNB, imagine what people like Terra Rebels will charge and what people like TFL will charge and, and stuff like that. It's all coming to that and it will always be a situation to try squish and squash this blockchain as, as much as they can and like I said for a lot of people this is simply just what can we get out of the system now how can we benefit from it before this thing actually does die 
everything becomes non-profitable validators just go off and honestly the ones that will be there until the utter end will be those top five nodes and anyone that can just run totally cost free because they're operating across 50 60 different blockchains at a time normally it's it's one of these ones we're dealing with big companies right if you look at kucoin they're ranked above us they're a 10 million dollar company with a thousand plus staff right these are big time companies they know what they're doing they understand crypto they've been in it for a while that's how they've got to the stages that they are at they understand that having bulk amounts is the way to go about this and you can just simply drain dying blockchains because they're just simply cashing out all the all the time that it's horrible to see honestly because as the price has gone down the delegated amounts gone up but the smaller nodes are not growing it's just all simply going to the big nodes like all nodes and and people like that and it's just we're not producing an environment that benefits the smaller people and if we don't benefit the smaller people we're never going to get any new projects we're never going to get anything new hit the blockchain and, and, and people sit and wonder you know what's going on with projects like metagloria what's going on with projects like lunar burning nights with all of these different other projects right and it's simply the price of lunc got absolutely crushed and it's just got even worse now and it's it's at a point like where we have to make this U-turn and everything that's currently gone on with Terra Rebels, Hexagon, whatever you want to call them, it's all just credence and it all just points to this proposal and actually seeing this out for exactly what it is and and Vin not going, well, you know, we're gonna we're gonna cooperate with the endpoints. No, let's get our own endpoint infrastructure. Why would we pay another group for infrastructure that we can't even utilize? You know, we our endpoints are down. It's it's all just a crazy like war of powers now of, you know, well, we've got this power of you, so we can just do this and we can do that. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this all pans out. But I ultimately think, you know, a lot of people are dead upset with the L1 team. And you know what? I'm dead upset with them too. I'm really upset that we've gone from having Steve, LBA, who followed governance and understood the community, understood the ins and outs of it. And what I think now is we've got developers that think like developers, they think numbers and it, it's weird. It's like they're emotionally disconnected and they're not gauging that the community simply going, we don't want Terra Rebels infrastructure. We don't want to be mi mixed in with them. And people are saying we would rather spend the money and take the three to six months that it would take to build it ourselves. The good thing is, is I've had it confirmed for me that the L1 team have a full copy of the whole system that they needed. So there is no six months waiting. They simply just spin this up and it's all knowledge gaining from that point. So the sooner the better. I'm going to keep applying pressure wherever I can, however I can and stuff like that. But like I was saying, I can tell a few people going to be like, oh, where have the Telegram groups gone? I'm no longer in any Telegram groups. The issues that come up with it, the people who take it very personally when I don't allow promoting and stuff like that, I think it's just better if I reduce my footprint, so to speak, and maybe people will hear less of me and not be so annoyed seeing me all the time. Folks, have a really nice day. Stay safe. I hope you caught the other video today. None of this is financial advice. Beware of scammers. Beware of doppelgangers. Beware of anybody pretending to be me. It's all my own humble opinion, and I'll catch you in the next one.